kids look at the multiplication table and they're like, it's so random. Uh, adults look at it and say, no, it's very orderly and clean. But the kids are right. Mathematicians will tell you there's a lot we don't know about the multiplication table. For example, how many distinct values between 1 and 100 actually show up? Well, 16's there, but 17's not. 21 is there, but 22 is not. 80 and 81 are there, but none of the other numbers in the 80s show up in the table. Uh, the answer is there's 42 distinct values. That is 42% of uh, all the possible numbers between one and 100 actually show up. Now, uh, maybe half is about the right number because the num values here are mirrored by the values here. So five times one is the same as one times five. Now a mathematician is gonna ask, okay, what about the 100 by 100 table? Uh, it turns out that 30% of the possible values that, uh, show up in that table. What about the thousand by thousand table? Of all the numbers between one and a million, only 25% of them show up in the multiplication table. Uh, and in 1955, Erdo showed that as n goes to infinity, the proportion of values between one and n squared appearing in the table goes to 0%. Okay, but what about for a particular n? Is there a formula that tells you uh, the proportion? The best answer is Ford's, which says the proportion is somewhere between these two uh, formulas where K1 and K2 are constants. So it's somewhere in there, but we can't say exactly what it is. And by the way, who uh, analyzed these giant multiplication tables? Uh, Brent et al, that's who by using clever algorithms instead of brute force. In summary, there's a lot we don't know about the multiplication table, so give the kids a break.